double hookups, perhaps. <laughs> Sunday Arvo session. Boat's already hooked up from this morning. It's been running a bit, but we're gonna go out and give it a crack. I think the wind's gone slightly northwest, but hopefully it's on. Yes. Check out this barely trail. The water looks so clear. Beautiful. Nice. So this is a spot we haven't fished before. It's kind of a half ass spot. We were running out and there was a big school of bait busting up on the surface. So we pulled up and right where the bait was busting up, it dropped down from 10 meters, 14, and then off the 17 off the back. So we decided we we're going to barely up here um, where the bait were busting up. We're about a mile out, probably not even a mile. Probably just on a mile out. Got barely going in. Jack's got one rod out. I've got two rods out. Lee's got the drone up. We'll roll some of that footage for you in a second. Hopefully we can get a big pink on. Into us fish. <laughs> Whoa. Feels alright, eh? Yeah, it looks like it's got some weight. Just as I was setting the net up. <laughs> yeah, we knew it was gonna happen sooner or later, actually. These sort of conditions. Feels pretty pink, eh? <laughs> yeah. Feels pretty pink. <laughs> it does feel pink. <laughs> I like that thing. Feels pretty pink. Feels pink. Alright, now I need to do double hook up. Oh, there it oh, is. What is it? Oh, it looks long. It's coming up wide, eh? It looks long. It no, pink? it's pinky, I think. It's pink. You can see hints of blue. Definitely a pink. Yeah, it's a pinky. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it's size. <laughs> First fish. Just like that. So easy. That'll do. Treat size. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's perfect size, eh? Good eating size. size. Eating size fish. Beautiful. Very okay. Good. Oh, come on, this guy's on fire! <laughs> Just saying, my reel's quiet. And again! Yeah, this that's is a better. much better fish. Much better than that last one. Yeah. Once more, Jack is giving me a bloody lesson. <laughs> my hands are all manky from the chicken. It's got bait hands. Just let it run. <laughs> I don't think he has a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Going, mate. There you go. <laughs> Dad's getting owned again as usual. Owned, yeah. It's the sinker, I reckon. Yeah, the, sinker. Yeah, the little it's ball sinker. Oh, it's the ball sinker. You just get to the bottom more than I am. That's my excuse. I'm not here. Well, then put a sinker on. Oh, that just seemed a line over the oh, okay. Is that like a jelly? Oh, my this one's definitely got more weight. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely good. I feel like that's not a pinky, is it? Or Has it got a head shape? Nah, no, not really, eh? Hey. I know he drags pretty light though, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Don't, don't do it off on my camera. Next minute, double up, snap. Crank it up. Oh, it's cool, dude. Yeah. Fat all over it. Oh, oh did the hook just move? Yeah, something. Oh, it just went funny again, I think. Just pulled it just and then woke up. It like pulled and then re rehooked. That was really weird, that feeling. Yeah. I don't know what that was. That looked like a BB head shape. Yeah. Oh! No. Yeah. Oh. They're on. <laughs> that, that's the plastic, eh? Yeah, this one's your brawlers. It's alright, we lose one, we get one. Yeah. Jack's already had one anyway. <laughs> this um, one's not huge, but it's a pinky. Oh man, I'm calling it anyway, one. that other line's a bit of a pain in the backside there. Pulled the hook. Pulled, Pulled, the, hook. Pulled the hook on Jack. 
That sounded like a That's really right. good get fish. Bait out. Yeah, it ran like a good fish. Yeah. So, Jack, can you just move that rod to the other side, this one here? Yeah. Just fish with that for a minute. For a minute. Yeah, I'll have a minute. Yes, it's a way off, yeah. So this was your Brolus five inch. Oh, now your Brolus five inch bull whip. Again on that light TT head, just wafting down through the burly trail. And it got scalambered. Oh. What are you calling it for? Snapper. Yeah, it's a snapper. What I wonder is why I fish with this outfit, because it's it's really light and you just feel so it's underdone, fun, eh? It is fun. That's why. But every time I catch a good fish on it, I feel like totally undergunned and think, oh, why am I using <laughs> light stuff? Somebody sponsor us some new rods. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I haven't got heavy stuff. Oh yeah, there he is, he's down there. Okay. Oh, a little bit of colour. Yeah, he's down deep still. Yeah, he's a pinky. Oh, how clear is the water? Super clear. Jeez, yeah, the water's can, super clear. He's like a good 10 metres down, you can really see Yeah, him. look at him. Oh, come on. Oh, he's still he he's might not done. Do, he might outdo Jack. He's not done yet. I think he might. I think he's got you in size. Oh, I reckon that's definitely. Oh, a that, one. yeah, it's oh. bigger. It's bigger. That one, yeah, his last was the one you one. dropped was a good one. Yeah, the one. Comes the net. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just let me get his head up. Yeah, he's seventy-five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit of fish. Good fish. Yeah, the boys. They are <laughs> getting it done <laughs> on the flaky too. Yeah, nice. look at that. You're too good, mate. Full whip. Oh, don't bite my hand, buddy. That'd be sweet <laughs> if you didn't. Here's a nice little fish. Slam that little Brolus five inch bull whip as they do. So, He'll go, I don't know, 65 maybe. Okay, Another nice, perfect man. eating size. I think I might take him as well. Yeah. yeah He's doing it tomorrow night. That's great. I'll actually fill it this one up and do a catch and cook with him tomorrow night. I think that's what I'll do. So there you go. I can put this one on ice and get this Abrolus back out. As you can see, totally undamaged. That's what I like about these Abrolus. They're so tough. You can't beat them. Beautiful. Onto another one. Jack just got a slam and then pulled the hook instantly. Oh. That's a bit small. That corner, eh? This one's a bit smaller now, eh? Yeah, this one's a smaller one. I'm missing my snails, okay? <laughs> missing the snails. Yeah, that's two misses for me now. This is only a small my one, eh? No, you're good, oh, you're good. No, I've got it. This one's nothing. Here's only his baby. Just a little baby. Oh, I'll put a quick tag in this one. Thank you. Sorry. Phew, little baby one. Still, he had a red hot go. Look how silver. Oh, how spiky. Super silver. Yeah, the colours are awesome here, mate. Yeah. Um, oh, I haven't got my tags or anything ready. I'm going to just whack him back in. There it is. Oh, Jack's in again. What's going on? It's a red hot oh, pot. This is going straight in the barely pot. IGA Chook, can't beat it. Oh. Probably the best burly you're ever... Oh, he's back on. He's back. <laughs> As I was saying, the best burly you're ever going to oh, see. Yeah, right. Oh, oh cool. this is chaos. <laughs> Hang on, Lee. Go, you're up. This one's oh, yours. Right. You got it? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. All right, I don't know Double who to film now. <laughs> Double hookups, perhaps? Oh, Jax is in. Oh, yeah, Jax is only a little one. only a little sucker. He's not worth looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Lee's getting the job done over here, but... Do you reckon that outfit feels underly or? Yeah. It does, <laughs> eh? It doesn't feel like it's got oh, the... Really nice I don't like the short butt on it too. It doesn't get under my arm. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like it's got the pulling power that you need sometimes. You just sometimes oh, left a little bit wanting. So that's way. another one on the Abrolis. Another score to the Abrolis bull whip. Oh. oh, and I'm getting hooked ups over here. <laughs> Double hookups, triple hookups. It's all happening. What's Lee got? Snapper. It's a pinky? Yeah, he's swimming towards me. Yeah, playing. I think it's definitely a pinky. He's kind of swimming towards me. He's not fighting. He's giving up. I know he's going to no, turn he's in going a second. around. Take him back around that side. He's going to turn around in a minute. He's not going to like it when I start forcing him this way. There he goes. Oh! <laughs> that was brutal. You called it. Called that very well. Oh. Don't go up. Dunk, dunk, dunk in. Oh, I think he might be in the rocks, eh? I don't think there's any rocks down there, right? It's oh, pretty clean bottom here. I feel it. Maybe it's on your spines, on your snapper spines, the leaders getting all going tunk, tunk, tunk. Damn, arm pump is real. 
toughen up, Princess. Ooh, yeah, they take yeah. a bit of doing on that little outfit, eh? Hey? There he is, Carl. Oh, I'm not seeing him. Oh, yeah, there he is. I'll go for a minute. Oh, I can feel it in his spine. He's coming up like yeah, he's coming he's up sideways. Down. Yeah, he's, I can feel his swim's funny. Maybe I feel hooked. Don't let him under the motor like that. Oh, oh shit. Do you need a camera? No, he's coming around. He's coming he's around. He's coming around. You can net him, Jack. Yeah. Just feeling from behind here. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's not done yet, is he's he? Is he a good size? I think he's decent, hey. Not bad, good size. Oh, he's in the. Yeah, I must be fair hooked. I can feel the line in his spine. Yeah, he's good. Bomber. Go, Jack. Go, go. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, swinging around. Oh, yes, I knew this was. I knew yeah, it was going to be a red hot session tonight. Eh? Yeah. I reckon you've outdone us all right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Dad, these sort of conditions, eh, it, it always kind of Dad's fish. <laughs> it always goes off in these sort of conditions. So, oh, Jack, you're in again. Oh, <laughs> oh, What's going out? on? No, no, pick him up, Lee. This is chaotic. Yeah, what a session. On a random spot that seriously I've never we've driven over this spot a million times. Where's that a brolus? Can we see? Swallowed the oh, is that on the face Is your brolus right it's down there? Right Look down. at that! It's right oh. in his gob. Yeah, he's hit it hard. Nice fish, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's such a nice Slaying it. Come on, little fish. You can swim. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, he's he's today. Oh, come on, mate. There he goes. Yeah, he's good. See you later. Good stuff. Yoo! Yoo! Oh, look at him. Red hot session. So the old Abrolis bull whip took a bit of a... a well, not the bull whip, the oh, bull... Oh, Jackson! <laughs> can't even get any word. Can't get a word in without... Oh. The bull whip's still in good condition, but the jig head took a bit of a whacking. I'm going to have to straighten that up with a pair of pliers. So in the meantime, I'm just going to whack this on the old Berkeley Nemesis. This one copped a bit of a whacking the other day from a snapper, bit the tail off of it and whatever, but it'll go. It's all good. Shit, yeah, I'm just trying to get a tag. I'm just trying to get a tag sorted out for the next fish. We want some. It's not huge. He's a tag fish though. Yeah, we'll tag him. What number is that tag on that one? 44. Oh, Jack again! <laughs> I'll talk about a red hot snapper session. Yeah, 44. Tommy landed a real big one, I think. This one's got him skiing. That's a, that's a snapper skull drag right there, folks. Oh, he's in the line. In case you were wondering. And he's made a mess of the line. <laughs> yeah, he's made a bit of a meal out of it. See you later. Well, that's it for us. We've had a pretty decent night. Um, the wind has actually spun around from Norwest and gone to the south, southeast now, and it's the whole bite just shut down. As you see before, it was pretty red hot and it was going off. And now the boat swung around and we sort of swung away from the reef where we were, and the bite's just shut down. So we're gonna bail it while the going's good, go back in, fill at these fish. Um, it's a pretty decent night. Tonight was not about the spot, like I told you before, this was just a random spot that we pulled up on. There was a bit of bait here. Tonight was about the conditions. Anytime there's a northwest wind, a light northwesters, Overcast conditions like this and, and not much moon, the snapper are always going to be going off and generally it doesn't even matter where you go when it's conditions like this. We knew it was going to be a good night, hence why we're out here. So anyway, if you like our stuff, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, put any comments below or questions and um, hopefully we'll slay it again in the next episode. Yo! So I'll show you how I fill it up. I'm no expert. I'll put that disclaimer out right now. But I'll basically start just behind the petrol fin here Feel my way in, there's a bit of a bone there. I feel in with the point of the knife and just feel my way around the back of the head like that. Up, you can sort of feel the bone, you just follow the bone along there and then get in there and try to break it all. So then I'll start there and then just work my way down the back of the backbone like that. Just with the point of the knife for now, I'm not going too far in. I'm just working my way down with the knife tilted down sort of along the backbone and just working down until I get to about here and then I'll push it right through and work the knife along the backbone like that and I'll come back up here just peel this belt I wear this glove too by the way it's a sort of a cut proof glove I just find it gives you a much better grip and if you're not scared about cutting yourself you tend to get a bit more violent with the knife 
So now I'll just use the point of the knife and just run the point of the knife right along the bones here like this and just slowly but surely pull the meat off as I'm going along like this. Cut in towards its butt, which is about there. Again, hugging that backbone the whole way. You've got to hug, hug in this backbone. And from there, from this part here, all through here is ribs. So now from here, what I basically do is I cut through here, make sure I've got that cut nice and through there. And this is why I do this on the floor and not up on the bait table, because I like to stand on the fish. And then I just pull and just cut along the top of the ribs. Again, with the top of the knife, just basically scratching the tops, just scratching the ribs as you go. And all through here is just ribs and stomach cavity. So from there, you can pretty much just cut that whole... Whoop. I've made a meal out of this. Then you can just cut that out there. So I've got pretty much all the meat off of there. And all of this is just ribs and stomach cavity there. Leave me with that perfect fillet there. Um, it's probably easier to skin this up on the table. There's one part of the fillet. And there's the other part of the fillet. I'll cut the, um, the middle out. There's like pin bones that run down the middle. So I just cut that out. Leaves me two perfect fillets there. Most important part, which I found with snapper or any fish for that matter, is wash it in salt water. Don't take it home and wash it in the fresh water. It changes the composition of the flesh. Wash it in salt water. I've got bags and everything on board the boat, so when we fill it up, at, we fill it up at the ramp when we get back. Wash it all in salt water, whack it in bags, and then it's straight in the freezer when you get home, and you'll find that it looks a whole lot better. Um, we'll be eating this fresh tomorrow night. This won't be getting frozen, but always wash it in salt water. It makes all the difference.